Thanks for stopping on our channel, which is dedicated to central heating. And as you can see, I've been doing this a long time. The most popular fault that heating engineers and breakdown engineers find is the customer says, I've got hot water, but I haven't got central heating. And quite often it's this diverter valve, as we can see here, or a zone valve. We've got a demand, the boiler's fired up and the pump is running, but the valve here is stuck in the hot water mode. When you try and push it, it won't go. And here's the typical way of doing it. And I'll show you what happens. There's a very, very strong spring, which needs a good motor. So we have to push it right to the end, lift it up, and it now gets hooked in the open position so the water can go through. And remember, these valves have an arrow. So make sure that that's in the right place when you come to replace it. Obviously here, it's in the right way, right, but just remember they are directional. So don't replace the motor. Honeywell Residio use blue wires. So no one should be replacing these valves with orange wires because they're for a different manufacturer and they're not as strong as these ones but we don't do this job at all. So we don't change the motor, we don't change the head, we change the whole valve. Why? Because they rust. There's a surprise. After six years of working, they get worn out. Like any machine that moves, eventually the sell-by date will arrive. So we just drain down, flush the system, top up with F2 silencer, and the job is complete. But to get you out of trouble, simply move the valve across slowly, hook it up, and then you'll at least have central heating on a manual basis. I hope you found this video clip of interest and take care.